There are always bad seeds in every community, and normally they are the vocal minority. However, in the commentary community, these bad seeds have started to become a more common occurrence. While still keeping their status as the loudest and most annoying, common traits of these people are their constant responding to everything, frequent meltdowns usually on Twitter, and frequent and repeated self-destructive behaviour. Many would call them terminally online, but I call them mentally ill. It seems there's always another commentary YouTuber who starts off almost completely fine before going off the deep end. Jalen is a perfect example of that. She has somehow managed to lose all good grace she had with her peers, while also alienating herself to the point of actual insanity, with her constantly having a breakdown after breakdown before repeating the process again. This has become so frequent it created the Jalen cycle, a diagram of events where Jalen will say something that is usually bigoted, go insane defending herself and then deactivate her Twitter account before randomly coming back. A cycle that started off actually hilarious until it wasn't. This story truly became a Greek tragedy. This is Jalen and her fall into pure insanity. Jalen started off her YouTube career by posting Minecraft Pocket Edition videos of the same level of quality as I'd expect from any teenager starting off YouTube. Pocket Edition Realms. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna scroll up and, uh, yeah. My original recording was 10 minutes long. It it broke, it messed up, I don't know why. Eventually she'd move into Minecraft content in general, making pretty generic videos in all honesty. Something that will become a pattern later on, trust me. None of these are that bad or scandalous. It honestly seems like Jalen was having fun. What's going on guys? It's Shared to Play Zims here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 2B 2T. And I've actually done a lot in between episodes. So I actually made a nice little base, you know, I have some farms, I have some sugar cane, growing and i'm growing a lot of sugar cane so i can like enchant stuff oh you sweet summer child you don't know the chaos you're gonna cause in the future this is also the year jalen hit 200 subscribers 2019 is where jalen really starts to grind out minecraft videos they followed the same formula but with much more polish than we saw in her very first video this would also be the year where she hit 600 subscribers Good job. What's going on, guys? It's Jordan Play Zims here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And I want to thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. I mean, we have grown so much in the past five months. I mean, I'm pretty sure in that time, I even had my very first video hit a thousand views. And I remember thinking how crazy that was. And ever since then, we've had like five, six videos hit a thousand views. I mean, that is just crazy. You know, I remember when I first started this channel, um, I had another channel. Uh, called Merc J, and basically I was uploading a bunch of random stuff at the time. Um, I was uploading Minecraft and Call of Duty, and then I made this channel because I was gonna quit Minecraft and I was gonna only upload Call of Duty, so I made this channel, started uploading to it, and then I just quit and went back to uploading Minecraft on my old channel. And then I'm pretty sure last year I came back to this channel and said, you know what, I'm gonna upload a couple Minecraft videos. And here we are a year later with almost a thousand subscribers and almost a hundred thousand views in total. We'd also see the most defining video on Jalen's entire channel so far, her very first commentary video. Today we're gonna be talking about all the Minecraft Monday drama. So this all started when Keemstar kicked out A6D from the Minecraft Monday tournament, apparently because he didn't pull in enough viewers. And he wasn't the only one that was kicked out. A lot of other YouTubers were kicked out too. This year also shows a bad habit that will only get worse with time. Jalen going to our audience to post about her sad girl hours. So, real talk. My channel is dying. My views are down like 50% right now. I can't even hit 200 views on my newest videos. My latest 2B2T video is at like 300 views right now, which is the lowest any 2B2T video has ever done. Like I was at 100 subscribers. I uploaded my first 2B2T video that got like 500 views in a couple days. So this is the lowest my channel has been in a very long time. And I honestly don't know why I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if the thumbnails are good. Is it because of the thumbnails? I mean, I'm trying to improve the thumbnails. It seemed 2020 was her year though as she quit her Minecraft content to make commentary videos. And they were fucking boring. 
had to sit through hours of Jalen's content and I've got to say I've never wanted to fall asleep so badly. I thought to myself maybe, just maybe, I will actually enjoy one of these videos. But here I am 16 hours into this deep dive and it's the same f***ing video. I know it's very ironic that I'm talking. My content is as entertaining to watch as the average Rick and Morty season. But at least I try to stand out. Jalen's content is literally the most generic thing I've ever watched. I'm not saying you have to reinvent the wheel or anything. I'm not even saying your videos need to become comedy hour look at all these memes wow just make your videos more appealing have some personality like you do in your twitter videos it seemed jalen really hit the mark of her new content and all joking aside if it works then sure as long as you're not exploiting the dead you're fine is orange is even trying anymore August 28th, 2021. Jalen might have made the worst mistake of her life. A few months ago, she had already gotten herself into drama of some small commentary channels, where she made herself look like a fool by giving them so much attention. I actually started looking into this more, and I have Jalen over here telling a child they should quit YouTube as she, and I quote, gains 1k subs a day. <laughs> She's not real, dude. This time, she caught the scorn of a YouTube with a million subscribers. Her reasoning being that she didn't have a video to make that day. Technoblade was diagnosed with cancer, and while this gave everyone who knew him a massive pit in their stomach, some people can't help but use these events to gain views. <coughs> Brazil. Jalen made a tweet where she said how pathetic it was for people to be using this event to gain clicks. And yeah, I agree. People who would use such tragic events to get their numbers up are f***ing disgusting. It's easy to say that these people don't have a conscience if milking someone's cancer is on the table for them. But even then, I just want to know what, what, hey, what is that? What the f***? Her video description are just tags in disguise. I can't handle this, bro. <laughs> I feel awful for Technoblade. Dot, dot, dot. So Technoblade has cancer. Now, I just want to say that I will be donating money made from this video to charity. Now, as you guys know, Technoblade has been gone for the last few months. People have been wondering what happened to Technoblade. Well, today, Technoblade uploaded a new video. And he explained where he has been. And that when Technoblade reveals he has cancer, which I just feel bad for Technoblade. Technoblade doesn't deserve this. Now, one thing that I find awful is people on Twitter and YouTube have been celebrating Celebrating Technoblade getting cancer, and I just don't understand why people would do this. They actually waste their time doing this. Now, thankfully, most people supported Technoblade, and Technoblade support started trending on Twitter. It was nice to see people come together and support Technoblade. So this is the Technoblade situation explained. <laughs> just video titles in it. I don't think it's really the content of the video that made people mad. I personally believe that it's because not even 24 hours ago, Jalen was crying on Twitter about people milking a serious situation and then makes a video doing the exact same thing along with a description. <laughs> It's a lot harder to say she didn't know what she was doing. So Optimus got involved, which would have been the exact moment I folded, by the way. I don't bend a knee to anyone, unless you have clout. Instead of taking a moment to think about what she was doing and stopping, Jalen doubled down. Put that in your pocket for later, by the way. It is very important. Ooh. She attempted to make multiple false equivalencies, which were debunked by the most intelligent <laughs> of in the night garden enjoyers. Okay, I might not be taking this as seriously as I should, but this is seriously embarrassing. The entire situation actually says a lot about Jalen's character, which will become more apparent later. I can handle Johnson coming for me. That dude's had it out for me ever since I joined this community, but not Optimus. Not someone I've looked up to for years. I can't handle this shit. None of this matters. What do you people want from me? I've tried all I can, and it's never enough. The whole idea that people specifically have have it out for her that she is being prosecuted and i don't know we're transphobic just just anyway it's not her fault is valid for her i feel awful for sensitive society i can't put this in a video if i want money but hey keep yourself safe lads <laughs> uh that got her account suspended by the way youtube response oh yeah i'm sure this is worthy of my time I already made a response to this video specifically, and I don't want to retread a lot of my points. A quick rundown on her video is that Jalen justified her blatant hypocrisy by saying that she needed a video topic for the day. So to kind of explain what happened, yesterday I got up, there was no video topics. I had nothing to make a video on. And then sometime in the afternoon, Twitter is going crazy. It's freaking out. They say, oh my God, Technoblade has cancer. At first, I didn't think it was real. So I watched the video and I was shocked. Just don't upload, I guess. I think he 
Keeping that little bit of integrity is more important than a few clicks. But I can never be too sure with you. This isn't me saying that rushing out a video or making daily uploads is bad by the way. I just don't think you should be making a video on someone's cancer diagnosis. She then claims she had no idea about the fundraiser feature. Apparently YouTube has this feature where you can actually raise funds for charity through your video. I had seen it on some of his videos, but I didn't know that this was a feature that I had access to. And if I had known, I probably would have used it. It takes three seconds to go into YouTube studio. Please explain to me how you didn't even bother doing a Google search on this. Also, I'm pretty sure the only people who brag about their um charity work are sociopaths and big companies. So sociopaths. No, you see, I care about this situation. I would not like people to milk this for views. Unless I don't have a video topic. What, you're booing me? Haters gonna hate, I guess. Look how good I'm doing. But not really. <laughs> There's also Jalen's reasoning, which is dodgy dude. <laughs> What? <laughs> I tell him to end his life, which is something I've done a couple times and I'll admit that was wrong. But yeah, that, that ended up getting my Twitter account suspended, which is probably a good thing because I, I have a Twitter addiction. I'm on Twitter all day, pretty much every day. And what people don't understand about Twitter is it's not the same as YouTube or Discord or real life. Twitter, you're meant to be toxic. When people have different opinions, they don't just say, okay, they fight. They fight and they force other people to share their opinion. That's Now, I know I've said something similar in my original video, but how was this a valid excuse when you're past the age of 10. Excusing your actions due to the vibe of Twitter is laughable. This whole situation wouldn't have even been so bad if it was self-contained and nothing like this happened again. But this is Jalen we're talking about. This is why I'll bring up the Jalen cycle because this was the first time we really saw it. Last time Jalen dealt with a small commentary channel, she bragged about her growth and told the dude to quit. Of course, the next step would be to threaten a channel takedown. Okay, let's rewind a little bit. A YouTuber called Grimsy decided to make a few videos on Jalen and recently outed YouTuber Scrimzox. Grimsy had around 1k subscribers at the time and this managed to annoy Jalen to the point of saying this. I don't like you because you're a bad person. Not because you're trans. Jesus, you're proving my point literally now. I could report you for some of the shit you've said. I don't know how a channel like yours is allowed anymore. I think we're done here. Yeah, we are. Keep making videos on me and watch what happens, winky face. Now, on the surface, this might look like she's threatening to strike someone of baseless claims. And that's because that's exactly what she did. <laughs> This is what I mean. Who does this? This is 10 times worse when you realize that Jalen makes edgy jokes all the time. And it seems you just need to say something even slightly rude regarding her for her to try and ruin your life. It's still so insane to me that someone can want to be handled with the smallest child gloves imaginable and then say stuff like this. No, this isn't photoshopped. There is no context missing. This is real. And this also leads to my next section. As per usual, Jalen decided she would heavily int on Twitter.com. Oh yeah, she came back after saying that she had a Twitter addiction, by the way. But in the newest issue of Jalen saying something stupid on Twitter, oh no. I want religion gone. I hope World War II happens to all religious people. So you're telling me that you think religion is the same character as n the same people who erased a lot of Europe's Jewish population because of their religion? That's a bit dumb, don't you think? Yes. The endless wars, hatred, and oppression caused due to religion need to end. Believe what you want, I really don't care. But yes, religion is a weakness and it is for the weak. I've accepted that life is pointless, that I could die right now and it doesn't matter. That strength. Didn't realize there's a lot of religious people in the commentary community. Jesus Christ, I keep blocking all these losers. She, uh she deactivated again. Reminded that she apologized, but is still saying stuff like this, by the way. I thought anyone saying this would have been bad, but this is coming from Jalen of all people, and it's just too ironic. I'm not going to preach about how trans people should have tolerance for bigots, but I will say that comparing religious people to German soldiers, calling people weak world for being religious and wanting religious people to be jaded is insane. Painting this idea that all religious people are bad while also being a minority makes no sense to me. I can guarantee that if anyone has said something about any group that Jalen's a part of, she'd flip her shit. I'm not even religious. I'm just calling out bullshit. She is also so, so fast to dish these type of things out, but she can't take it. Like some of her, um, jokes. God deserves to burn in hell. 
for being gay. Adolf Hitler. Americans deserved racism. Americans deserve transphobia. Same logic, isn't it? So you can't complain. It's called a joke. Like, do you people lack brain cells? I mean, I guess I shouldn't expect any different from Discord users. The joke is racism against Americans is funny, lol. If anything has been shown with this video thus far, it's that Jalen is one of the most hypocritical, ignorant, and sensitive YouTubers ever. I know the word sensitive has lost all meaning from random small commentary channels using it to insult people who aren't okay of them being bigots, but that might be the best way to describe her. Oranges, oranges, why aren't you talking about Brazza? Jalen was right, that guy can go eat a dick. I think that's it. I think this is the current end to Jalen's absolute dickheadery. Oh no. So Jalen police someone for being a neo-Nazi. Cool, I guess. But as we've seen, the very second someone says even something remotely mean to Jalen, she, well... No one else should care. I find it just really funny that they like, they say on Twitter, yeah, all transphobic people are pedophiles, and just being openly transphobic towards Ringo. That's not being transphobic. I can make 41% jokes. Also, Ringo's oh, literally, L Ringo's also literally making the same jokes. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what the fuck are you? Ooh. <laughs> Like, you're not black. You're not, bla you're not black, Jalen. You're not allowed to say that. Be fair. You're not allowed to say that word. Are you racist? I am black. Jesus. I am black. Oh, actually. hypocrites. You don't okay, know calm I'm, down, I am buddy. Black, calm down. You don't know that? Fuck you. This entire video, every single second of this was building up to this moment. The very moment Jalen truly, honestly made me give up on her. Everything so far I could easily look past given time. Especially when it's someone as isolated as Jalen. It's not that just because a group I'm a part of has now been affected by her. It's just that she genuinely said these things to people in minority groups. I don't care if you're part of the group or not. You can't tell someone to join the 41% and then claim it was a joke when someone calls you out on it. Worse still when you call a black guy the hard ass seconds later. Everything beforehand was just being ignorant but this was straight up racist exactly this is me right now people just hate me because i'm trans and a leftist and have actual morals unlike them yes i'm sure this is because you're trans and nothing else and i know i know she apologized the person forgave her but she has done this literally every time first time maybe she'll learn second time might have been a goof but by the fourth or fifth time i open twitter and see her having a meltdown it just makes me feel bad this pathetic cycle has me feeling bad for an actual racist guys i cannot do this and just when i'm truly starting to feel bad for jalen she smooshed in my face by doing everything she can to make the exact same mistake she's been making for years instead of actually owning up publicly and properly she goes to a second channel that no one watches to make a proper apology she goes silent for a few weeks and then comes right back to twitter and starts posting she said that she's done with twitter after this whole thing do you really expect me to believe that this literally happened at the start of the video dude jalen has a twitter addiction she said so herself. She also said that she is probably neurodivergent, which I could totally believe. But what is the most alarming thing to me is the lack of social interaction Jalen gets outside of Twitter. She has said so herself multiple times, constantly going on about how her lack of real friends and how Twitter is her only source of interaction with others. I don't think I need to show any more to explain what I'm trying to say next. Delete Twitter. Do not come back. Try and fix some of the bridges you've burned in the past and try and speak of those people. If you're socially awkward in public, that's fine. I get that. Don't push yourself. Try and find people who share the same common interest with you. Aside from commentary, we are all psychopaths. If it isn't too much stress, keep your main source of money going. That's good. I just think she needs to work on herself and on gaining those important connections. But whatever. I'm just some random teenager on the internet. My opinion doesn't matter. Thanks for watching the video. You know the drill by this point. Look at my stuff down below. That sounded so wrong. Oh, and Jalen, if you happen to be watching this video, take my advice or don't. I don't really care. Just please don't have another gamer moment on Twitter again. See ya, lads.